a novel combination therapy for pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, or PDA, is an aggressive form of cancer and one of the leading causes of cancer mortality. Unfortunately, it is often detected only in the late stage of the disease and fails to respond to pre-surgical approaches, such as chemotherapy or radiotherapy, that are needed to shrink the tumor mass before it can be safely removed by surgery. Novel approaches to overcome this issue and thus increase the survival of PDA patients are urgently required. About half of all cancers are treated by radiation therapy. However, in PDA, conventional radiotherapy is somewhat ineffective and often results in damage to normal tissue. In contrast, stereotactic body radiation therapy, or SBRT, uses radiation to target tumors in an extremely precise fashion and at much higher doses within a shorter time frame. In PDA, SBRT not only reduces normal tissue damage, but it is also more effective at combating the tumor. As such, it has recently shown promise as a neoadjuvant therapy for the surgical removal of tumors in PDA. It is widely accepted that the immune system mediates many of the anti-tumor effects of radiotherapy. Dr. Scott Gerber at the University of Rochester Medical Center and his team recently completed a clinical trial examining how well SBRT activated the immune system in PDA. On comparing untreated to SBRT-treated tumors, they found that CD8 T cells, an immune cell type important to initiating tumor cell death, had infiltrated into the middle of only the SBRT-treated tumors. Although SBRT did initiate an anti-tumor immune response, it could not sustain this response long enough to eliminate the tumors. Dr. Gerber's team looked at immunotherapy to enhance the effects of SBRT and bolster the immune attack on the tumor. Immunotherapy for cancer treatment in general is a relatively novel approach with only limited benefits for PDA patients. Dr. Gerber proposed overcoming the common difficulties associated with immunotherapy in PDA by using the potent anti-tumor cytokine known as interleukin-12 or IL-12 to ramp up the immune system. The researchers adopted the novel approach of encapsulating immune modulatory IL-12 in microspheres, which are small particles. The microspheres serve to protect the IL-12 from destruction by enzymes in the body and also allow a slow, sustained release of IL-12 into the tumor. In their tests, IL-12 loaded microspheres were injected directly into tumors in an animal model of pancreatic cancer, in which the IL-12 was then slowly released over a period of up to two weeks. Their results demonstrated a remarkable reduction and cure of the pancreatic tumor, which was dependent on immune cells that were reprogrammed by the therapy to now attack the cancer. Critically, Dr. Gerber and his colleagues found that this combination therapy was not only effective against the primary tumor, but was also able to destroy established metastases. This is an important finding as metastatic disease is what eventually kills most cancer patients. Given the success of their preclinical research to date, Dr. Gerber and his team are now setting up clinical trials in humans to assess the effects of their potentially revolutionary combination treatment and to ascertain the benefits to locally advanced and metastatic PDA patients.